Social activists in Tel Aviv clashed with police across the city Saturday evening. The night started with a rally against police violence as some 2,000 protesters gathered in Tel Aviv's Habima Square a day after 12 activists were detained by police during a social protest. Soon after, violent clashes erupted at various locations across Tel Aviv, including at five banks near the city's Rabin Square. Protesters shattered windows at some banks, in one case making their way into the bank with a tent, the symbol of last year's housing protest, and barricading themselves inside. Protesters blocked one of the city's main streets, Ibn Gvirol, and later also managed to halt traffic on the southbound lanes of the Ayalon Freeway. Some 85 people were arrested throughout the night. A ceasefire between Gaza Strip factions and Israel will go into effect Saturday night following Egyptian mediation efforts. Senior Hamas official Ayman Taha said that the lull has no set date and will be implemented gradually. After this announcement, the Iron Dome intercepted five Gaza rockets fired at populated areas in the southern town of Ashkelon. The IDF said some 150 rockets landed in Israel so far during the latest round of fighting in the south, including 30 on Saturday. United States has commissioned 361 new Tomahawk cruise missiles and some 238 of them are meant to find their way to the 5th Fleet, which is based in Bahrain. According to military sources, the deal may suggest that the U.S. is gearing for a possible military campaign against the Islamic Republic. Similar missiles were used by the U.S. against Muammar Gaddafi's regime in Libya. Live weather update in association with Israel. Pioneering green technology for a better world. Israel has launched its first ever international green campaign meant to promote the nation's achievements in the field of environmental technology. The campaign includes an international ad campaign, which is set to air on international TV networks such as CNN. The ad stressed the fact that Israel is a leader in the development of green technology and that Israeli innovations in the field are used the world over. Despite recent threats by the Tel Aviv municipality to close six of the city's 13 beaches due to a labor dispute with the lifeguards, the city's beaches have been given an international thumbs up by Yahoo on the list of 10 great urban beaches. Gordon Frischman Beach in Tel Aviv takes its place among the likes of Venice Beach in Los Angeles, Ipanema in Rio de Janeiro, South Beach in Miami, and Sydney's Bondi Beach.